Okay, welcome to Behind the Scenes Camping with Steve. Uh, this is what I do when I'm not actually camping, is I look for places to camp. And um, if I plan to just go out and wing it, everything goes wrong. So today I'm going out to a spot which should be a pretty good spot, but I have to check it out as far as uh, is there firewood available. This is a regular camping thing um, in pretty much, I think the largest density of cougars ever recorded in North America. So, we'll see how it looks. We'll see if I can uh, get a picture of one of these kitties out there somewhere. And uh, yeah, let's just have a little road trip adventure looking for a spot to camp. Okay, roads seem to be open. Uh, there's snow here and there's trees lots of trees lots of snow um, there's interesting history uh, geologically to this part of the province uh, Alberta Saskatchewan it's a part of the glaciers didn't quite sweep over so uh, there's really interesting things I'll explain a little bit about that when I actually get out and do a real video out here but Yeah, surrounding this whole place is uh, it's a semi-arid uh, climate and it's just nothing but fields, range, grazing, uh, can't see anything for miles. And here we are, um, tons of pines, oh this is neat, uh, so neat to see trees out here and uh, some white bark pines, uh, a lot of really interesting stuff out here. And it seems to be probably the reason there's so many cougars around this area is this is like an oasis. Um, yeah, let's see what's down this road. Looks, uh, looks doable. Yeah, the cougars are probably around here due to um, just the oasis provided by all these trees, the cover. They like to stay hidden. Uh, around this is just open range for miles as, uh, as far as you go in any direction. So um, farmers would make short work of any cougars that they see lurking around their homes, etc. But uh, it's just a, a really cool place. I think this is going to be a great video. And I also haven't seen snow in a week until just now. So this is a, it's certainly a, a different, strange little piece of climate here. Okay, well, this is a nice spot to stretch my legs. We're uh, pretty high elevation. It used to be, uh, I guess, an island at one point up here. And the rest was like glaciers and stuff down below. I'm not seeing a campground yet though, which uh, supposedly they're on the map a little further down the road. So we'll keep looking to find out if we've got a spot to camp for tomorrow night. That is not a sight you see all the time in uh, little picnic -y areas, so that's kind of cool. Uh, this looks like it might be a campground. Uh, there's a self-registration booth, but it looks pretty much like a parking lot to me. That's not our style of camping, so i got to keep looking a little bit more. The search so far is not going well, and that's kind of why we have to do these things a day or two before we actually go out to film, because if we had everything packed up and ready to go, um, we would be skunked and then a day or two behind on the videos. So, the adventure continues and we'll see what we can find. Well, I found a campsite that we can get to, but it's not my type of a campsite. They have these cabin type things. There's a basketball net. Um, that's not normally what I go for in a campground. There's a backcountry one. It looks like might be open, but you need tire chains. The big sign that you need tire chains to get there. I don't want to chance it. So we're back to the drawing board. Um, sadly, this time of year, Cypress Hills is kind of off the charts, uh, off our list of things that we're going to do. Because I'm fairly picky about um, having a nice remote campsite. Uh, but Beautiful Wife is a lot more picky about that than I am. Um, <laughs> so if we're seeing uh, if we're seeing buildings and ice cream stands and mini golf and playgrounds, that's uh, not exactly my type of camping. 
Uh, hopefully I'll find something else around the area. The day is young, so I'll keep on exploring and see uh, what there might be out there. And uh, I do have a few backups over the next week here for places to camp. So that's where we're at now. And uh, we'll see what else we can find. Aha. Yeah, we're skunked. Back to the drawing board. Uh, very cool area. Very cool little place. Uh, crawling with cougars, apparently. I did not see any, but uh, it was just a quick drive through on the main roads. So we're gonna see um, what we can do. And I'm gonna be hitting the map books and uh, checking things out for, uh, for a spot to film a nice video for this Thursday with beautiful wife doing a little bit of conventional camping. So I'm gonna try to throw as many updates onto the secondary channel here as possible just to keep you guys in the loop of what's going on. So that's kind of a day in the life of Steve, driving around, drinking a coffee, and looking for places to camp. And as of now, back to Medicine Hat.